Indonesia. 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 Right. So here we have the case notes. Roland Bingham. Roland Bingham. And the date of birth is this. Right, where a charge nurse. Fine. UCLA Medical Center. Right. We are a charge nurse, UCLA Medical Center. Roland Bingham is a patient in your care. Roland Bingham is a patient in your medical center. Okay. UCLA Medical Center. Subjective first assessment bilateral conjunctivitis viral. The likely, possibly. The likely means possibly. Assessment likely viral. So, closing drops is the treatment. Four hour look. And next one. Next one. Right. Then this is 23 21. So, this is final result. Okay. Right. Urgent. Emergency. Immediately. Emergency department. Royal Melbourne Hospital. Melbourne. Okay. So you are writing to the registrar. The registrar, the registrar, name is not the registrar, emergency department, Royal Member High Hospital, it's Royal Melbourne 3051. Very good.
files. Submission. Right, this is the submission. Original. Yes. The registrar emergency department. The registrar. Emergency department. Royal Melbourne and Hospital. Fitzroy Melbourne. Fitzroy. The next twenty three twenty one twenty three twenty one twenty three twenty one twenty March twenty one. But this comma should be immediately no space. Okay, not in the middle of the two words. It should be immediate. Then, dear registrar, dear registrar, regarding Mrs. Roland Bingham, comma, this comma is right. Date of birth, 3 August. How do you know this thesis? 8th of March or 3rd of August. It's confusion. So always write like official format which is acceptable internationally. So we can say 03 August 1934. Always follow this pattern. Okay. Mrs. Bingham. Comma. Here you have to put a comma. Mrs. Bingham, who has bilateral 
conjunctivitis. A long or a long? What did you write? Why did you separate a and long together? You have to write together. This is how you have to write. You cannot separate. Maybe you tell, I write it together only, but you can see that a is separate and long is separate, so it appears to be a long. No, a long with significant loss of vision. This big M who has bilateral conjunctivitis along with significant loss of vision is urgently being referred. Okay. Is urgently being referred. You are urgently referring or referring for urgent emergent, urgent. Uh, okay. Why? Why you are you are sending an urgent referral or uh, urgent management is required? Referring urgent or treatment urgent? Okay. Which is urgent? Referral is urgent or follow up action is urgent? Okay. Yes, Pranita, do you understand? I'm asking you one question. Yes, sir. I understand. Your referral is urgent. You are referring urgently or she needs urgent treatment. What is urgent? Yes, your sir. referral urgent or the treatment after your referral is urgent? Urgent treatment. Uh, treatment is urgent. So that's what it is. Your letter is not. So being ref, urgently is urgently being referred means you are urgently referring. But what about the treatment? Of, that is more important. Okay. So and you are already writing emergency department here. Urgent means emergency department only. So no need to write emergency department again here. For referring to urgent emergency department here, it is already there in that address. So it is going there only to the emergency department, not going anywhere else. Okay, not going anywhere else. Right. So how you can say Mrs. Bingham was bilateral conjunctivitis? along with significant loss of vision uh, is being referred for emergency assessment or urgent assessment like that you have to say okay is urgently here is wrong many people write like that and many people teach like that so that is wrong referral is not urgent here okay right uh, the case is urgent. So, is being referred for emergency emergency assessment or emergency evaluation. What exactly you are sending there for? Let us see. Refer immediately emergency department royal melbourne i have told husband will drive her to the hospital okay so husband will accompany to the hospital okay um, so emergency will appear to me so no need to write okay for emergency assessment so information will write a letter to me. emergency why Plan immediate emergency department. Royal Medical, Royal Melbourne Eye Hospital. Okay, fine. So, now, this is bilateral conjunctivitis. Okay, one, three, twenty-one, and after that, this one, okay, uh, twenty-three, twenty, twenty-one, this is it. So, he lost sight in both, he lost most sight in both eyes, okay, right, so, Then, white sticky discharge, unable to read eye chart. Okay. So now, what you are going to write here is, hmm. 
Mr. Bingham, who has bilateral conjunctivitis along with significant loss of vision, is most is not significant. Fifty percent is significant, or forty percent is significant. Most large amounts, extreme loss of vision, are okay, being referred to emergency department for appropriate care. So, for emergency assessment, okay, or evaluation and appropriate management. Or follow up action plan, whatever you want to write, you can write. So, Miss Bingham, who has bilateral conjunctivitis along with significant loss of vision, okay. So, along with significant loss of vision, she has bilateral conjunctivitis and she also has significant loss of vision. What do you mean by that? Bilateral conjunctivitis along with the loss of vision, okay, is being referred for emergency. For emergency is being referred for emergency assessment and appropriate management. Okay, fine, that's enough. Emergency department, emergency means okay, immediate assessment or emergency assessment, everything is the same. Okay. Uh, on 1 March, so it is 1 March 2021, okay, Mrs. Bingham was presented with the complaints of inflamed, sticky and weeping eyes, inflamed, what is the spelling of inflamed, 1st March, inflamed, what is the spelling of inflamed? And what did you write? Huh? What did you write? Double M. Why did you write double M? Okay. Complaints of inflamed, sticky, and weeping eyes. Okay. Uh, on assessment, significant redness and watery discharge were noted. Were noted. Two things are there. Significant redness is one thing, and watery discharge is another thing. So you have to say were noted. Then why did you say white was noted? So were noted on the right eye. On right eye or noted in the right eye, in the right eye or on the right eye? Is it in the right eye or on the right eye? And where is the article the discharge in the right eye? In the right eye. Uh, right. Then the left eye. Then in the left eye. Then in the left eye. Okay. Therefore, chlorosic drops four hourly. Chlorosic drops, drops is plural, chlorosic drops, four hourly, were prescribed. Chlorosic, chlorosic was prescribed, but chlorosic drops were prescribed. Chlorosic is medication, but drops, when you say it is plural. Okay. Chlorosic drops is plural, so it should be were prescribed. It is drops, chlorosic drops, four hour labor prescribed. Okay.
floor six was deep. Floor six was prescribed, but floor six drops were prescribed. Okay. Is a drop, a floor six drop, then was prescribed. When you're saying floor six drops, then it should be what prescribed. Okay. Uh, next one. Blood division, eyelids edema. Eyelids edema or eyelid edema? We are making it an adjective. So is it edema in the eyelids? Eyelid is one word or two words. Ba, ba, ba. Eyelids one word or two word, my dear. Where is eyelids? Odema, eyelids. Oh, you, you. Okay, so not only like that. Eh? My God. Okay. I separate lids, separate. I never saw like that one. I don't know. I, I lead. Case notes has problem. Okay. There are some problems in the case notes. I lead is one word. Compound noun. Compound noun. I lead. Okay. Either of the two pieces of skin that can closely close over each eye. That is called I lead. So I lead is one word. Eyelid is one word. The case notes only it is wrong. So don't say it is not my mistake in the case notes. It's like that. You should know. Because in the exam, if you write like that, you lose your marks. Okay. Fine. Eyelids, edema. Or edema, apparent lower lids. Okay. Right. And increased conjunctival congestion were noticed. This is right. Even after three weeks. Even after three weeks. Very good. So this even after three weeks, okay, fine. An increased congestion. So if this increased congestion is for all or only for this three weeks, after three weeks is for all the three things or only one thing. That's you have to clear clarity. Subsequently, subsequent flow down physical one drop thrice daily, comma, bicep by an. Tears. Okay. Bayon tears. Bayon tears. Okay, capital letter. Okay, Bayon tears. One drop. Four hourly. Were advised. So here, why did you not write end? Two things are there. So you should have written end, you know? One drop thrice daily. What is that? Chloram phenical. One drop thrice daily. And bion drops. And bion drops. Bion tears. One drop. Four hours. Were advised. Okay. During today's visit, This has been had, has increased watery discharge. Why do you want to say every time Mrs. Bingham, Mrs. Bingham, Mrs. Bingham? Avoid that one. Increased watery discharge and edema in both the lids, along with significant loss of vision in both the eyes, were reported. You can say were reported. Were reported. You can remove that one and say were reported. It is understood Bingham only. That is correct only. But why do you want to write has increased active voice? 
were reported is passive voice. That is what I'm saying. If you use Mrs. Bingham every time, it will be active voice. So use passive voice. Uh, inability to read or watch TV. Okay, television, you can write. Okay. Have been reported. Today's visit. So present tense, not what reported. Have been reported. And here, inability to read or watch television are also mentioned. Okay. Mentioned. Are also mentioned. Say have been mentioned. Finished. Finished, no, finished the activity. So finished the activity, you have to use it present perfect. Have been mentioned. Told, already told. So why do you want to say are also observed? Are also observed means present simple. That means now, afternoon, tomorrow, you are talking based on some observation earlier. Today's visit. So currently, our daily medications include. Okay. Uh, you can say the current medications include okay, thyroxine, article, and Pasamax, Pasamax, 10 mg, hip replacement, respective. Current, the current medications are. Are the current medications include? Include means are there any other medications? It means there are many medications, only these are they're telling. So you can just say are include means there are many medications and these are some of them. Okay. The current medications include okay. The current, no need of her, avoid her. The current medications include. Hello. Hello. The current medications include thyroxine, attacan, and fosomax for hypothyroidism, hypertension, and hip replacement, respectively. Like that, you are right. Why, why did you write respectively without anything here? Okay. She requires A, B, C for X, Y, Z. Respectively. Now we understand. Renita? Hello, Renita. Yes, sir. Do you understand what I'm telling? Yeah, medication that ABC. We need, we need breakfast, lunch, and dinner for the morning, the afternoon, and the night, respectively. Now we understand very clearly. Yes, sir. That's it. I need not write that one. You can write. Okay. Uh, next one. She is not known for any allergies. Then why should you write this one? Okay. Okay. She has no known allergies. Okay. She has no known allergies. Okay. So she has no known allergies. There's no need to write. If there are allergies, then you have to write them. What is this? This is redundant. If she has no known allergies, why are you writing? That means it is understood. So there is, if you don't write anything, that is understood. Why are you writing this sentence in the first place? She is not known for any allergies. That means she has no known allergies. Why are you writing when nothing is there? If something is there, she is allergic to penicillin, you can write. Or she is allergic to uh, some items, right? When she, okay, cold items or uh, chocolate or ice cream, she is allergic to ice creams or something like that. If there is allergy, you have to write, but if she has no known allergies, then why should you say that? The sentence is redundant. Unless and until it is extremely important, you need not write that. Based on the above circumstances, comma, urgent admission, 
into your io why again into your emergency department every time writing emergency department is not necessary okay uh, okay emergency admission we wrote there here urgent evaluation urgent yeah it is at you are sending him for evaluation and everything so it's okay is it written anywhere admission okay referral urgent that's all whether they want to admit or not they will take care you are not directing the uh, registrar to do what he has to do okay you are not directing you are referring for urgent whether they have to uh, admit or whether they have to assess and give treatment and send off or whether they want to just keep her observation or whether they want to uh, put her in ward that they will decide why you are directing them okay urgent admission so you can say immediate evaluation that's you can say or assessment there what you wrote emergency assessment here you write immediate evaluation okay immediate evaluation further evaluation you can say further okay evaluation already you wrote emergency there so further evaluation okay immediate uh assessment you have written there immediate evaluation okay and follow follow up and necessary follow up action plan okay would be highly beneficial okay fine in case comma any additional information is required Come on, please do not hesitate to contact me. Yours faithfully, correct? Right. Charge nurse. You see, L M Medical Center. And you see, L M Medical Center and yeah. Emergency department, Royal Melbourne Hospital. So it is Melbourne. Melbourne. So that no need. Finish. Okay. Is that clear, Renita? Hello? Yes, sir. Okay, fine, fine. I want you to write again neatly and submit this one without any yes, with all the necessary suggestions corrections write it and i'll check it and i'll approve that okay yes sir sir uh, did i uh, include all the relevant information uh -huh. did i include all the relevant information yes yes you have to include all the relevant information and unnecessary information you have to avoid yes yes okay sir okay fine Thank you.